guys welcome back okay so it's that time of the month again where i share with you guys my monthly beauty buys basically all of the beauty products that i have purchased this month and have kind of just like packed away into my little drawer until i'm ready to get to them you know kind of like a little pack rat <laughs> buying stuff that i just had to have um, and putting them in my drawer of shame, okay? So yeah, that's where we are today. I'm going through all of the products that I purchased this month. And y'all, it is, it is shameful. It is shameful how many items I purchased this month. I can't even believe how many items I purchased this month. <laughs> it's insane. But, you know, listen, I love makeup, I love beauty, and it is what it is, okay? I'm not going to apologize for it no more, but just to give you guys an idea of what we're about to go through. This is a uh, tray one, so this is my first tray of shame, okay? And this is tray two, my second tray of shame, okay? So, yeah. Get you a snack, honey. Get comfortable and just settle in because your girl has quite a few items to show you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. I think I'm going to start with um, some items that I ordered from ColourPop that I actually forgot about. I guess they had a little sale, so I grabbed me a few things like I need any more ColourPop stuff. But um yeah let's just kind of go through these items so this first item here is a super shock shadow so yeah let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the color that i bought because oh uh, you know what child one thing about me your girl can't see okay <laughs> so if you want to know any of the details on these products i gotta put on these glasses so this shade is called social bb whatever that means but um they came out with a collection that was like a really pretty lavender and purple shaded collection and so i just grabbed this super shock shadow i thought it was really pretty um even though I really don't wear super shock shadows like that. But I did grab this one. I thought it was gorgeous. So yeah, it's really pretty. It is. There's nothing phenomenal about it, but it is gorgeous. So I did grab that. What else did I get from ColourPop? Oh, since they were having a little sale, I wanted to try out one of their bronzers, blushes, and highlights. So I did pick up one of each. To try out this one is moonlight beach which is a bronzer and it's a matte bronzer doesn't that look gorgeous that's beautiful so that's moonlight beach and then for the blush i grabbed icing on top and so oof, look how pretty that is oh she's pretty grab that and then for the highlight i got summer camp so that's what summer camp looks like so it's a nice, deep, rich shade of highlight. Oh, she feel a little dry though. Okay, she ain't feeling nice and creamy like I usually like, but we'll see how she looks on the face. So that is the color on that highlight. We'll see what happens. For, y'all know I can't buy nothing from a ColourPop without grabbing a palette. So this one is called Blue Velvet. Oh. I saw these blues and just act like I didn't have no other blue palettes in my collection, which y'all know I do. But she's gorgeous. Look at these shades in here. Okay. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I want to swatch a couple of these shimmers. So, this one down here, wavy. So, oh, that one looks like it has kind of, you know, it's pretty. It's really pretty. And this one here, Evil Eye. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh. Okay. Looks like I got a winner with this one because these are gorgeous. And then that white one is called I Feel Ya. I Feel Ya. So, yeah. Those are really pretty. And then the last palette. I got two palettes from ColourPop. I did pretty good. The second palette I got is called Lavish. So, I believe this was like that lavender type uh 
what is it collection that they came out with and so i did buy the palette and like i said that one super sharp shadow so yeah it's like a lighter tone palette some pretty lavenders but i definitely want to play in this it's like a gorgeous cool tone situation oh let me swatch this one here in the middle this middle shade that looks pretty yeah so that's what that looks like really pretty okay moving on and then the last two items that i purchased from ColourPop were two uh pencils you know two of their pencils so these are the two colors that i grabbed um this blue one is called outer space and the purpley shade is called charmer so yeah they look exactly like the color on the packaging so that's it from ColourPop. now i got these lip stain masks um, I saw this brand on Instagram. It's called Wonder Skin. And so I bought three different shades. I have Darling, Crush, and Haley. So these are what the shades look like. And the reason why I'm showing you like this is because you won't be able to see from the packaging or me opening it or anything because I'll put a picture or a little video up right here of what these do. It's like a mask that you put on and then I guess you spray the activator on top of the mask and you let it sit for however long on your lips and then when you peel off the blue mask it's a stain of whatever color you chose so these were just really intriguing to me I really was just like I want to try those and see how they look on my lips it's very very hard for me if you're familiar with my channel you know that it's like I'm usually a gloss, a nude gloss type of girl. Every blue moon I'll put on a color. Like my color is basically like a fuchsia or a peachy tone. And I just was really curious about those lip stains and I want to see how they work out. Okay, so next from Sephora, I got this blush. One of the blushes from House Labs by Lady Gaga. And the color that I got is Watermelon Bliss. Y'all, when I seen these blushes, I about passed out. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It's so gorgeous. It comes in this pretty silver packaging. And let me show you what this one looks like. Yo, look at the color on this blush. This is like so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to put that on my cheeks and see how it does for your girl so anyways yeah i got watermelon bliss so so pretty next i got this like it's like a two pack from tower 28 it's a blush and a lip jelly so i grabbed this from sephora i don't remember if it was on sale or not this looks like something that i would grab on sale <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. So, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. Look at that. So, it comes with this, and then it comes with the little blush here. Sorry for the glare. Let me do like this, try and see if I can. Okay. So, yeah. So, it comes with the lip product, and it comes with the blush. So, we'll see how it does. It's kind of like a creamy, balmy blush. And. I guess they are the same color. What shade is this? Mauve Mint. Mauve Mint. So this is what this looks like. Ah, so pretty. Next, I picked up a few of the blush duos from Uma Beauty. Uma Beauty. And they come in these cute little silver um, compacts here. So I'll show you the shades that I grabbed. I got Brown Sugar, which looks like this. So that's brown sugar. Next I got bronze Venus, which looks like this. And then lastly, I got black pearl. So black pearl looks like this. And that's the darkest one, I believe. So, so pretty. These are gorgeous. I cannot wait to try them out on my cheeks to see how they look, but they're so, so pretty, okay? Now, I did grab, um, I wanted to try out some different complexion stuff, so I did kind of pick up a few things from Sephora, and I'm just trying to like grab as many of those as I can. 
But I did grab um, a couple of concealers. This one is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. I got the shade 35N. So this is what this one looks like, 35N. Um, and I haven't tried it yet, it's still sealed. But let me just do a little, okay. So that's the color of 35N. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty light. So that will definitely be a nice little brightening, which my hand is darker than my face, but it'll be a nice brightening concealer for me. Nice shade. Um, what else did we get? So this one is actually a NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've never tried this one. I got the shade Medium Dark Truffle. And so this is like in this little pot here from NARS. So that's what it looks like. I don't know. I've never tried this before, but ooh, it looks nice. Looks nice and creamy. I think this one will probably act as like a spot corrector for me. Yeah, really nice shade. So looking forward to trying that one out. And then I also got, what is this? I got two concealers from NARS, I guess. So this one is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I think this one's really popular. A lot of people use this, but yeah, I haven't used it. <laughs> so we're going to see how it works on me. And what color is this? This is, oh, this is the same shade. This is Truffle. Did I mean to do that? Was that my intention? But anyways, this is the Radiant Maybe that's why I got the same color because this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Looks like this. So let's see here. Maybe I wanted to try it. Oh, that is nice. Okay. That's this one here, this darker one. So I'm like, maybe I wanted to try it in the Radiant, you know, stick form as well as the little pot. So yeah, I got both of those. Oh, I'm excited about that. That looks nice. Okay. And then, let's see, what else did I get from NARS? Let's just stick with NARS. This is a Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. So, let me take a look at this. Okay, what shade did I get? Seafront. Seafront. That's an interesting name. Okay. I love their packaging. Their Soft Matte Packaging, and it's nice and thin. It's not super thick, too bulky. Oh, okay, so this is Seafront. I don't know. It looks like it might work nicely for me. Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. So this is what Seafront looks like. Yeah, that looks like a beautiful shade. Okay, so looking forward to trying that out as well. Now, one of these powders um, that I got from Sephora, I already have, but I think I have it in a different shade. This Sephora, this is their, you know, micro smooth um, face powder. Well, this one, the other one I think is a finishing powder. This one just says face powder. Let me see if it says something different. So my usual micro smooth, this one says, yeah, baked face compact, multitasking baked face powder. I don't know, so I'm assuming they're the same, but this one actually, the new one that I got, I don't know, it looks like it might be too light. This one I got in toffee, and this is what it looks like. And I know sometimes, you know, with your finishing powders or, you know, stuff like that, that it looks too light until you put it on and it looks perfect, so I'll have to see. But I grabbed that as well, and then... um. I also grabbed this one, which is Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. So this is a powder foundation from Sephora, and this one is in Toffee Spice. Now this one definitely looks too light for me. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to return this or if I'm going to use this under my eyes because I really do love a nice, you know, light powder under my eyes. Just for a little brightening so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep this or send it back the jury's still out on that one okay so
sticking with powders. This I did not get from Sephora though. I got this from Beauty Bay. This is Danessa Myrick's Evolution Powder. It is a priming, smoothing, setting powder. So this is a loose powder and I got it in Deep Peach. And I love, like I just said, a nice brightening powder under my eyes, but not too bright, okay? Some of them just be too white, too light, and too bright, and I can't do it. So I typically go for a peachy toned powder under my eyes because I love the peachy tone. And this one looked like it might be nice for me. So I haven't opened it or used it yet, um, obviously, but this is the shade and i'm feeling like it's probably gonna work pretty nice i'd be scared with Danessa myrick stuff because y'all know her bronzer got me like <laughs> just in a frantic panic right now every time i use it i actually used it today her cream one i'm this close to decluttering it i actually used it today you know underneath my powder and you know all that good stuff just to kind of see but when I tell you I felt like I looked like somebody socked me in my face it was so deep so dark and so just pungent that I was just like ugh so I don't know that's on the chopping block I mean I was able to work my face out but that's stuff I don't like makeup that's difficult to use I like it to just be easy and work so that cream bronzer from Danessa Myricks it might be getting decluttered so I bought this from Melt. This is the Melt Ultra Matte Bronzer. So it comes in this nice cute little box. This is what the packaging looks like. Oh, it's so cute. And I have the shade Long Beach, which is kind of like sentimental because I was born and raised in Long Beach, California. Hello. But this is Long Beach, okay? Look at this bronzer. Hello, it is looking super gorgeous. Child, I cannot wait to put this on my face. I'm hoping that it works nicely because it's beautiful and I want it to work. It's gorgeous. Okay, now I did pick up one lip product uh, from the Sephora brand because I wanted to actually do a whole face of Sephora. I'm not sure if I'm there yet with all my products, but I did grab this one lip product. This is the color. Oh, she pretty shade super super gorgeous if i can read the color from off of or i'll look at my sephora order and figure out which color i bought and put it on the screen okay so what else did we get from sephora child um house labs Ooh, i got a foundation from house labs i also got a foundation from clinique but i got this from ulta though but we can talk about that as well and then i got this uh i got dior backstage face and body foundation now i picked up the shade 5w in this foundation i really really need to try this out because people just be ranting and raving about it but that's what it looks like um and i i ordered this online when it came back in stock and they sent me the little notification like hey it's back in stock i just went ahead and picked the shade and ordered it okay so this is the shade that i have here it's really pretty it looks like a gorgeous foundation okay so that's the shade that i have we shall see okay we shall see let's take a look at my even though i am very very suntanned right now because <laughs> your girl do be in the pool um yeah i feel like i could definitely work that out you know I can work it out but we'll see you know we'll see how it works out on my skin on my face but I think it'll it'll work out and then I also picked up like I said the house labs I have this is some type of triclone skin tech foundation and it says 460 medium deep warm that's the color that I chose okay and i really like this bottle look at the bottle it's so pretty just looking through the bottle the color looks like it's going to be okay for me so it does have a pump Ooh, now that color looks nice this one is the house labs 
so you can see that one is a little more caramelicious, a little more warm and deep and ooh, that will probably be really good, you know, while I have my tan and everything going on. That looks like a good shade for me. So yeah, if you're trying to figure out your shade and you're close to me, or you know, you got a little tan going on right now, this shade might work. This is 460 medium deep warm. Okay, and then I got this Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. It has SPF 25. And I just kind of swatched this in Ulta when I was there. I like this little bottle. So cute. And it actually was, you know, a pretty decent match for me in Ulta. It looked pretty good. So, yeah, got that. And this one is, what did I say? It's 118 Amber. 118 Amber is the shade that I have in that. Okay. Okay, I did go ahead and grab a couple more foundations. This one from Sephora as well. This is the actual Sephora brand Best Skin Ever um, Longwear Foundation, anti-pollution. I got the shade 50 in. So that's what this one looks like. I don't even know if I, you know, yeah, this one has a little bit more of a cool, uh, neutral kind of cool tone you know vibe to it it's not really as warm as i like but sometimes i can get away with neutral uh, foundations as you can see here i can definitely use this you know no problem so yeah this one is 50 in and then the last foundation i grabbed was this ruby kisses fresh all day matte foundation and this one is in the shade 415 so that's what that looks like. Definitely wanted to try this out. Um, I don't know, it just looked intriguing to me. It is, you know, like drugstore or beauty supply. Um, ooh, <laughs> look at that. That looks like a really, really good match. <laughs> that looks like a good match, okay? Okay, so I did go ahead and grab one of my favorite mascaras because as I said previously I'm tired of trying these mascaras and they're not really working for me or doing anything for me so I did go ahead and grab one of my Thrive Cosmetics this one is the Liquid Lash Extension Mascara okay love this stuff it's never done me wrong so I went ahead and grabbed one of those okay now this I ordered off of Amazon it's the Kissed Falscara, the new way to lash. This is the Bond and Seal. Um, I heard somebody talking about this, and I don't remember who I was watching, but I guess this is like where you put the little pieces of lash, you know, you put the glue or the bond actually on your mask, on your lashes underneath and then you attach the little pieces of lash, you know, underneath your lash, I guess. I don't know how that's gonna work out for me because, you know, I do have contacts and I have a tendency to get glue and stuff on my contacts and it's no fun. But I wanted to try this out. I didn't buy any of the little lash extenders because what I plan on doing is just taking some of the five million pairs of lashes I already have and just clipping them, you know, clipping little pieces of them so that I can just apply them on the outer parts of my lashes and see how I like it. So I did grab this, it's the Kiss Falscara, just to try it out. Um, this I actually believe I got sent free with my Beauty Bay order, because I did order a few things from Beauty Bay, and I got this BH Cosmetics Mega Hold Laminate Brow Gel. I wouldn't have bought this, so I'm pretty sure that they sent this to me for free. So anyways, it's <laughs> a Mega Hold Brow Gel. Definitely gonna try that. This, um, I'm thinking I got for free as well from Revolution. In my last vlog, I showed myself trying out some Revolution skincare and I'm still going through my trial period right now. Um, but spoiler alert, I'm liking it so far. But I think I got this free from them. So this is a 5B Lash Pal, push it up. <laughs> mascara I know I didn't buy this because I said I'm not buying no more mascaras um so I believe I got this free from them 
Um, what else? Okay, from Ulta. Well, I got these two from Sephora. Let's just talk about these two. I picked up this Brazilian Crush 62. This is pistachio and salted caramel. I got this from Sephora. I ordered it on one of my same day deliveries. I just, look, I was so sick and tired of people talking about this stuff. And I love me a nice, delicious smelling um, body spray. So I went ahead, threw this in my order, and it does. It smells delicious. It smells so good, you guys. From that, that's one of the, what, Sol de Janeiro's, I believe. And I also finally grabbed Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. This perfume smells so good. Oh my gosh, I'm like, what took me so long to buy this? Because I love perfume and have a pretty decent collection, but this was not in it. And I was just like, oh my goodness, let me try this out. So this is what the bottle looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like the light shines through the middle. It's really pretty and it just, uh, I don't have, right now I have on Creed, so I don't want to mix this with my Creed. Ugh. It smells so good though. It smells so good. I'm so glad that I added this to my collection because it just, it smells grown and sexy, you know, and I feel like it's just one that I needed to have. I feel like I'm all over the place, you guys. Foundation, fragrance, <laughs> it's just everywhere. Now this I did grab from Ulta. This is the new Morphe uh, Prep and Set Mist. So it says supercharged with what is it? Ceramides and antioxidants. I guess it's a good, it's supposed to be to prep your face before you put on your makeup and it's a setting mist all in one. So I just got the little travel size to try out and we'll see how it works. Okay, I love the regular Morphe setting spray. So I'm hoping I love that too. Okay, you guys. So I have a few items that I actually was sent from Milk Makeup. If you watched my vlog, then you've already seen me run through these items, but I did just want to share with you guys. If you haven't watched that vlog, what Milk Makeup sent me to try out. So this first item is, what is this? This is the Kush Clear Brow Gel. So they did send me their brow gel to try out. Um, you know, I don't really try out a lot of brow gels, so I guess I will see how this one works. They also sent me, um, this is the Infinity Longwear Eyeliner. So this is in the shade Outer Space, which is uh, black, but this is the box. It's just a regular eyeliner, you know, eyeliner pencil. This one, yeah, it's a regular eyeliner pencil, but yeah. Milk Kush Mascara. I actually feel like I tried one of their mascaras before. I don't think it was this one because it seems like it was like in a blue container, but I have tried their mascara before and I actually really liked it. They sent me this um, Hydro Grip Primer, which I already have this. I've used it several times. I love this stuff, so I'm glad that I actually have a backup of the Hydro Grip Primer. And this is my favorite. I, this is what I've already been using this one. The other stuff, the uh, eyeliner and stuff I haven't tried yet. But this I've already been using and I love it. This is the Milk Makeup. What is it called? Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. Okay. I love a good makeup removing cleansing balm. And this one is mm, Chef's Kiss. I have, And it doesn't take a lot. Like you can see I've been digging in there but it does not take a lot like i look like this i have to use this stuff you know to get them off and everything and go in the rest of my face i'm loving that already loving it loving it so if you're looking for a new makeup removing cleansing balm this one is a good one and then lastly they sent me these two they're kind of like some of those duo sticks what is it called lip and cheek sticks and so i got two of them i got the shade quickie and the shade work so those are the two shades that i have that they sent to me and this is you can see on the side what it looks like i don't want to take them out of the box again but that's what they look like and so it's like a cheek and lip duo the shades look fairly light so i don't know how they're gonna work on me i love watching ann nook do her looks 
I didn't even know she had a palette. Did not know she came out with a palette. I mean, I know I've been kind of out of the makeup loop for a while, but I didn't know that she had a palette and that she did one with Sigma. And when I saw it, look at this pretty packaging, you guys. It's so gorgeous. I know I'm on a late bus, but <laughs> y'all just gonna have to indulge me for a minute, okay? But I got so excited and so happy for her because her eyelids are ridiculously amazing, okay? So I had to just grab her palette and just show some love and support for Anne Nook because child, I was like, I love her eye looks. But anyways, this is what the palette looks like from Sigma. Some beautiful blues and purples. You got your gorgeous neutral side, you know, gray tones in here. I feel like this is going to be, definitely be a travel palette for me because I like to have those pops of blues and purples, but for the most part, I'd be doing doing the least when I'm on vacation <laughs> which is so funny because you know it's like on vacation you love to put on the tropical bathing suits and the pretty sundresses and stuff child I'll be doing the absolute least when I go on vacation with my eyes okay because I just want to get out there get my breakfast and have me some fun so these other two palettes I picked up from Sigma I got Beachy which is this one and then I got Jewels so let me show you what Beachy looks like so this is beachy. Isn't beachy peachy? Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. I know. Gorgeous. And then this one is jewels. Jewels. Beautiful jewel tone shades in there. Gorgeous. So, yeah. Okay, so listen. This palette here from Glam Light, this Chucky palette, Crazy in Love. This was definitely like a late night impulse buy, okay? Because... I don't even like scary movies. I'm not into Chucky, Ch The Bride of Chucky, none of that. But the packaging is actually pretty cool. They've actually really been doing some cool stuff with their packaging lately. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I love deep, dark, grungy color stories, palettes, eyeshadow, all of that. So I'm not surprised that I bought this and I'm not wondering why I bought it. But it's a very dark palette. <laughs> very dark and it's like honey this definitely screams grunge for sure so I think they really got the coloring and the theming right for this palette and I think it's going to create a beautiful deep dark burgundy grungy look so yeah I'm excited about it but it's pretty cool next I did want to go ahead and grab like I said I want to do a full face of Sephora beauty products um and my full face is incomplete with the products that I have. I have powders, I have foundation, concealer, lip product now. I already have the blush, bronzer, and highlight. I didn't have any, you know what? I sure did have some Sephora eyeshadow palettes. I play too much. I play too much. Anyway, I bought two new ones. <laughs> I forgot I have the Sephora Pro palettes. I forget about them palettes all the time and I actually love them, but I forgot I have those. Anyway, we got two new Sephora palettes, okay, for our full face, which is coming up. So this one is Destinations. What is the name of this? Because they both they're both called Destinations. This one, oh, Southern Charm. So this one is Southern Charm, and this is what this one looks like. Nothing remarkable or anything like that. This shade looks really pretty, though. But yeah, so this one is called Southern Charm, and this one is called Gone West. This one is really unremarkable, and actually, I might take it back. <laughs> but they were pretty inexpensive, if I remember correctly. I don't know. But this one, it looks like all three of these shades going to look the same on me. All of them gonna look the same on my eyes, okay? And then there's this beautiful, you know, turquoise shade, and then gold, and then this one here. But um, I don't know, y'all. She might be going back because that's too many shades that look just alike to me. Okay, so I did, like I said, make a beauty bay order, just a couple items. So I got this um, face palette. It's bronze, blush, and glow. Okay, I don't have any face palettes from Beauty Bay. And this one was gorgeous. Okay, hello. Hello. <laughs> she is a really pretty, okay? Got the nice deep darkness that uh, your girl be looking for, okay? Like, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This highlighter and this contour and all the good stuff, all the goodness. So, 
Yeah, I was like, let me go ahead and try some little face products from um, Beauty Bay. Because their eyeshadows is the bomb. So, I'm assuming that the face products would be good too. Y'all, I picked up this little baby bright palette. And... I feel like I picked it up because, because I have the other bright palette. Is the other bright palettes only mattes? I don't know, but this one is just, it was really intriguing to me. And it has some gorgeous shimmers, like, this is pretty, this is pretty. This. Child, let me look at my other baby brights palette and see why I bought this. Okay, I kind of see why already. This one is smaller. This one is a smaller uh, Brights palette and it's all matte. So that's, yeah, it's really pretty and it's really bright, but it's only nine shades. And so I was like, I know I have a small bright palette. Why didn't I buy this one? So this one, yeah, this one actually has shimmers in it. This one has a black and a white. And so, yeah, it gave me a little bit more variety on um, as far as these palettes go. Yeah, I see it has the pretty lavender shades in there. Mm-hmm. It has some shimmers in here. Okay. So anyway, got that. Um, oh, and lastly from Beauty Bay, I did grab a few more of their single shadows because I was playing around with the single shadows that I already have from them. And I was like, I wonder if they came out with any more because the original ones didn't really have, you know, like a whole lot of shimmers, I believe. It was only like a couple of shimmers. So I picked up a few more. I think these are all of the other ones that they have from Beauty Bay and their singles. And so it's really Sample Beauty is the brand, Sample Beauty, but I got them off of Beauty Bay. So these were the additional shimmers that I added to my collection. Really, really pretty. Ooh, so, so pretty. So yeah, I want to play with these as well. I have been wanting to purchase this palette, first of all. I got two palettes, but this is the one that really caught my eye from What's Up Beauty. It's the Monsoon Desert Palette. I've seen a lot of influencers that were sent this palette that have it, and they really speak highly of it. And I was like, okay, you know, it, it is a really, really pretty palette. But most of them that have it, hopefully it's not because it was sent to them, but most people that I've heard that have it, that talk about it, talk about the quality is really, really amazing. So I wanted to check it out for myself. So I did grab this palette from What's Up Beauty. And then I saw this one on the website as well. So I ended up grabbing it. This one is, is it Goads? Geodes? Whatever however you pronounce that but this one is gorgeous look at those shimmers in there it has lighter mattes in here than I would like but I don't mind you know mixing and matching palettes to get what I need but these shimmers are really pretty so I'm very curious to see how this looks on me okay now I bought a couple of Morphe palettes listen the shame runs deep okay it runs really deep but <laughs> My problem is when I see palettes, you know, either like on the internet or I see people using them and I'm just like, now that's a beautiful palette or that's a gorgeous look. It makes me want it. Even though I don't need it, it makes me want it. So hopefully I don't do that for you guys. If I do, I'm sorry. So this is the 18 Matte Essentials from Morphe. So this is, you already know this is going to be a basic palette. <laughs> But, hear me out. Listen, there are times when I'm looking for these gray tones, I'm looking for these cool taupey tones, and I'm just like, I just need one palette that I know has it in there, and I can just grab it and use it, okay? So, hence, I got this palette, okay? So, if you like grays and taupes and mattes, and you want a palette that just has it all in one place, and you gotta be wondering, where's your grays at? Where's your taupes at? Here you go. But yeah, I saw it. I wanted it. I bought it. Definitely didn't need it. And then in the same um, order, I got this Magic Mirror. So this is 35 MI Magic Mirror Palette from Morphe. Okay. Um, same thoughts, same concept, same feels. Did I need both of these? Probably not. This one probably would have sufficed. 
But for some reason, I wanted these grays and I wanted warm tones. I wanted my cools and my warms in the same palette, okay? So this is an option, you know, if you like Morphe or whatever. I mean, I don't have a problem with Morphe's formula. I It's like, I for me, I know different brands have different formulas, so I don't, when I go into doing a makeup look, I don't anticipate doing my makeup the same every single time. That's just me. My personality is I'm going to work the formula that I have in front of me. Whatever formula I have in front of me that I'm using, I'm going to work it to its potential. <laughs> so that's what I do. And with Morphe, I have no problems, no issues with their formula in this palette. Ooh, just looking at it, it's just like, oh, she looks so scrumptious. Okay. And of course, y'all know I love color. I mean, look at my eyes. If you're curious about what palette this is, and no, I did not film it. This is the latest Juvia's palette. The, what is it? The Culture 2? The Culture 2? Let me show it to you. And actually, this palette should have been in this, a part of this haul as well because I did buy this. So this is the Culture 2 from Juvia's. Really, really pretty packaging. And it's funny because I used this immediately when I was like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. I need to play with it. But this is the Culture 2 from Juvia's. Um, you can probably see, you know, kind of guess which shades I use. I went in with a whole lot of colors from here, okay? Because this, like, watermelon red, oh my gosh, gorgeous. This beautiful peachy shade that's in there, too. I got this light lime green on my lid. I have, what else do I have? Oh, I have this beautiful, see, for you guys, it looks blue, but for me, it looks purple, okay? So it's definitely a dual chrome, maybe a multi-chrome, multi but dual chrome for sure. I use that. Um, this gorgeous deep dark burgundy shade. Ooh, I put that in my outer corner and under my eye, girl. Hello. And then I think I use this one here in my inner corner. So, yeah, this is part of the haul as well. <laughs> so yeah, I bought that. So yeah, if you guys are like, KK, why you got them neutral boring palettes? Y'all know I love makeup in general. Okay, I love it all, and so your girl's gonna buy it all. I know, listen, if you are an OG, you know whenever I be like, oh, I'm on a low buy, I'm on a no buy, I'm on a no palette buy, I know y'all just be ignoring me, okay? Because when it comes to makeup, I am truly a crackhead. Like, I'm not even gonna deny it, I'm not even gonna fight it no more. I did pick up the Cosmos palette from ABH. Okay, got this from Sephora. This was actually um, my latest purchase. This is the last thing I bought. I bought this um, from Sephora. I was actually out doing a little bit of shopping and had lunch with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I don't know if you guys, um, you know, watch her and watch me. But yeah, her channel, oh my goodness, amazing. If you want some um, eyeshadow palette reviews, definitely check out Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. But we went and had lunch, hung out a little bit, did a little bit of shopping, of course, and I bought this. I wanted to actually see this in person before buying it, you know, because I was like, okay, ABH, y'all coming out with a Cosmos palette. You got some deeper shades in there. I'm going to need to see it in person. Um, but it is, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. And I can't wait to play with it. And I have one more palette, y'all. This is the last item in this beauty buys for the month of June okay I feel like I really am not gonna buy anything in July because this is ridiculous but we'll see okay so this is the Glaminatrix into the night okay they've been basically shoving this palette down my throat ever since it came out when it first came out I was like oh my gosh that's gorgeous it's beautiful I want it blah 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 but I was like that price that price. I have a couple of Glaminatrix palettes and their shadows are remarkable, but their prices, you know, just because they got to add that shipping on top of the pricing and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, I went ahead and grabbed this palette. I thought it was beautiful, gorgeous, and I just couldn't fight it anymore. I wanted it in my collection and here she is in all her glory into the night. Okay. Just uh, beautiful, okay. 
this is one of those palettes where it's gorgeous but when you look at it under that low light that low light baby that low light <laughs> oh pretty so anyway that's it got her so that's it you guys that is all of my beauty guys for the month of june y'all don't go in too hard on me in the comments okay listen i buy the makeup so you don't have to okay i'm gonna keep saying that i buy it so you don't have to i'm gonna try this stuff out i'm gonna show it i'm gonna swatch it all of that good stuff and then you can decide you know what it is you really really need so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed going through all of my june beauty buys and seeing what your girl picked up I had a lot of fun revisiting all the items that I purchased. I'm excited all over again to just dive in and start using this stuff. Really excited. So yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching, hanging out with me. If you liked it, definitely hit like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about some of the things that I bought. And definitely, if you're not subscribed and you like my content, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. It costs zero dollars and zero cents, okay? <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Toodles! Just text, I know it's a toss, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a